Well, I would say that in the case of the Daily Maverick, where you have uh, Greg Mills and Ray Hartley, there are um, issues that, w or rather the byline that says uh, Greg Mills and Ray Hartley are with the Brenters Foundation. But what we have to be cognizant of is that the Brenters Foundation was started by the Oppenheimer Foundation. They receive funding from all of these institutions that are problematic. And Greg Mills himself serves as a special advisor to the NATO commander, David Richard who commanded the Western Coalition forces as they stomped their way across illegal conflict in Afghanistan. Um, so these, if there was a, an analogous position, imagine the advisor to Prigozhin writing in The Citizen and having this thing unquestioned, unquestioned and uncritical. That would be the analogous situation. Um, so this copy comes from the, uh, the Brentis Foundation it's put in the Daily Maverick. And my problem with the South African National Editors Forum is that they are uh, a dog with, with no teeth. They are a cheese and wine club in this situation. This stuff should be labeled as sponsored content, sponsored by the Brentist Foundation. In the same way that John Stierna has had to eventually declare that the Brentist Foundation paid for his trip to Ukraine, um, the Brentis Foundation, or rather the Daily Maverick, should declare that uh, this content is uh, sponsored. Um, and and I, I, another point that the Daily Maverick are not really transparent about their source of funding. On its website, it says that more than 25%, but less than 50% of the shareholding is uh, held by uh, in Kululeko, South African media. Um, less than 15% is uh, a bunch of trust individuals and PTY Limited. But we're not sure who the, the, the stakeholders are in the shareholding and what strings may be attached. So the Daily Maverick is wholly, wholly untransparent with their sources of funding and particularly with their... Uh, uh, their worldview about uh, international relations, particularly these guys, Greg Mills and Ray Hartley, they are not good faith actors. This is US propaganda and it's clear for everybody to see.